the Flight Physiological Center was established at the FMV Flight Test Center in Linköping in the early 60s. In almost 50 years, we have supported the Swedish Air Force with aviation medical expertise. The latest part of the test center is the amazing Dynamic Flight Simulator, the DFS, which is mainly used for high-G training of aircrew. The DFS was finished in 2003 and used by a number of different air forces during the years. The newest generation of aircraft needs, due to the high and rapid G-force onset, an even better trained aircrew, and it's better to make the mistake in the simulator. The dynamic flight simulator prepares the aircrew and saves lives. Before the pilot enters the gondola of the DFS, he gets, after the initial medical examination, a number of briefings, tips and techniques by initiated Air Force personnel. How to best support and be prepared for the high G-forces. To develop and train, the technique prepares you for the high G-force in the fighter during the real mission. The DFS is used as a free-flying simulator when the pilot is flying his own mission, but also as a centrifuge where all the action is controlled from the control room. All the different envelopes are supervised by flight medical expertise, as well as by aircrew. After the training, a debriefing is held, so the feedback can be taken care of. The DFS accelerates up to 10 G per second and is used for aircrew training, man-machine integration, medical research and evaluation, and for tests of pilot equipment. Another part of the Flight Physiological Center is the test pool where aircrew is trained for emergency situations in water. Before a test is done, the aircrew gets a briefing by experienced personnel and the equipment is carefully examined and safety checked. Wind speed of up to 40 meters per second and waves up to half a meter with rain and darkness can be simulated in the pool and the aircrew is trained as well for entering the raft and how to prepare for helicopter rescue operations. Another part of the Flight Physiological Center is the hyperbaric chamber, or the altitude chamber. It is designed for two different activities, one for aircrew high altitude training and one for equipment testing and high altitude rapid decompression testing. The chamber is also used in treatment of certain medical disorders. Don't forget to equalize your ears. You guys remember how to do that. There is also a hyperbaric chamber, mainly used by divers. The chamber can be used for re and decompression after diving accidents and in HBO treatment. All activities are monitored by accurate equipment and experienced medical personnel. The Flight Physiological Center's main task is to support the aircrew with flight safety and therefore prepare the aircrew for flight operations. We all make mistakes and especially under highly stressed emergency situations. So why not make them in the simulator? so you're better prepared for the situation if it occurs during the live mission. It has been proven it saves lives. <laughs>